Let's go to Abuja. There's good news. I got a deal with YSL. <laughs> See my exes house from here. <laughs> hey, besties, it's like. 6 a.m. or almost 6 a.m. I've just been waking up quite early recently because I've been doing the fast. You guys, you know, I spoke to you about that my fast whereby I don't drink or nothing and I just go celebrate. So I've been on that. I can't lie. I feel like there's so much happening at once. I just feel like things are not as normal as normal. Does that make sense? Like, they're not as normal as they normally are. You know when things are happening and it feels like it's spiraling out of control, but you can tell that there is good coming from this. You can tell that there's going to be like a lot of good coming from it. That's exactly how I feel about everything going on. Like, I know it kind of sucks, but at the same time, I know that, like, something good is going to come out from it. So I'm not really too pressed, but, you know, I still have to feel the emotions. I saw a video, right? And literally, it was like that. You wouldn't leave a relationship, even though it was bad, if it was comfortable. You wouldn't leave an environment that is bad if it's not that bad. This is not about relationship, oh, I'm happy. <laughs> Just telling you guys. But if you're with someone, right, and they don't treat you as good as you would want or as good as they could, but you're gonna like compare it to your ex and be like, eh, well, at least he does not, uh, you know, at least he does not insult me. At least he does not do this and that. At least he does not like disrespect me. You know those kind of things. But he shall not do the things he meant to do. But you're comparing it to something and be like, ah, at least it's not that means it's not that bad though. Do you get it? it's bad, but it's not that bad. And because of that, you're gonna stay until it becomes inconvenient. Do you get? So that's how it is in life. And I feel like now I'm seeing it very well. Like you don't like your job, but it's not that bad. At least they don't make you work on weekends at least your boss is not insulting you or trying to sleep with you at least like you make those excuses like okay well at least it's even close to my house so do you get what i mean like i don't have to drive three hours two hours to get to my job so here's the thing now the universe now starts to say hey okay i'm gonna make it that bad <laughs> so the universe now starts to shake it up because you can't leave a place where you feel comfortable you're gonna leave a place where you feel uncomfortable so that's exactly what i'm experiencing that's what i'm seeing now and i'm just like oh my god but then again there's good news i got a deal with ysl <laughs> you know your girl is working with st lauren i'm super excited this time last year i was working with fenty and this year i'm working with ysl it's just crazy it's so crazy but i'm really thankful thank god for everyone who recommends me thank god for everyone who sees how much effort i put in my content thank you for everyone who sees my potential i'm just super excited i'm blessed to be honest and my birthday is coming up eh, 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 eh. i'm gonna be 24. call me mama <laughs> i'm gonna be 24. i'm happy though i did black nails because of the ysl gig they want me to do black nails for the uh, content and my hairstylist is coming it's six right it's coming in uh like an hour 30. then i'm gonna go shoot my first ysl content so come with me Mwah. hey besties i've got great news for you can you guys guess her i was so excited when i got the news and everything so they're coming to nigeria for an event and it's so great so firstly they sent me this this is the invitation to the event and they sent me a perfume so i'm actually gonna try it right here this is the first time i'm actually unboxing the perfume I'll show you guys the white self body period perfume it's crazy because like i think i showed you guys my last trip to paris i got white self perfume so the fact that i'm working with them now it's just like anyway let's open it and see i hope it's feminine i hope it's sexy but then again it's YSL, like they're always good so duh look at that the packaging is so great so look at the bottle it's so good like look at that look at that come on 
No. No, it smells good. You, I'm not even capping. <laughs> you know how you can cap just so, like, yeah, I'm actually not capping. Like, this actually smells good. It smells feminine. It smells like ice cream. Could you want to smell? You have to do like this smell. You still have to teach him. Oh, sure. Or perfumes. Okay, not too much. Yes, it, it does. smells. Like it smells, yeah, it yeah. smells. It smells very it's sweet. Nice. It smells so sweet. I just wanted to share this with you guys, and I saw a flight today to Abuja, and it's by five. I haven't packed. I have not done anything. I still have a photo shoot. I still have to unbox my packages that came from my business from China. I still have to do that, so I don't know. I'm gonna do this, but anyway, let's get into it. Oh, I'm having my first photo shoot for YSL today. By the way, <laughs> yay! <laughs> I'm finally done with work ish at least the work that I have to be in Lagos for so I just packed up my bag literally so impromptu honestly when I'm traveling local flights I don't try to overthink it because like it's just like one hour flight so I just like pack whatever because I'm going home anyway so it's not like I'm going somewhere that you know i have to stress too much i literally just threw things in my suitcase i'm only carrying one big suitcase i always carry a small one but then i was like since i didn't plan what to wear i might as well just carry everything at least almost everything so i said just carry a big one so i don't regret you know not carrying much i finished the shoot about an hour ago i still have to make the post today my flight is for like you know almost like 6 p.m like 5 45 so I should be in Abuja by like almost 7 p.m. I downloaded movies on my iPad because I can't I don't I can't go on the flight without downloading movies on my iPad. I'm sorry. Let's go to Abuja, okay? Let's go to Abuja. from Abuja you guys look at my fit it's so cute now I'm heading to my hotel I want to have like a little staycation with my mom at the hotel and like I'm just happy finding a hotel was so hard though because you all know I worked with Hilton before so I was trying to get a room done it was like sold out and like every other hotel I liked was sold out so I don't know what's happening why is it sold out it's not like it's summer oh yeah wow summer started but it's not like it's December or anything where everyone is in Nigeria like what you sold out for I feel like they might be hoarding rooms for people that have like stars or something I'm gonna update you guys I'm tired the minute I landed I literally my phone when I put my network on it was just work 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 I can't like that really took a toll on me because I was so excited landing and then like you know being in the air watching my movie on my iPad and I'm reading my phone yet when I came on and I was getting messages I just remembered shit I still have to go I think I can see my ex's house from here. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna go to the gym, but now it's such a beautiful day for a walk. Like, I'm thinking, should I just take a walk? I think I'm gonna just take a walk. It, it just feels so beautiful for a walk. Lagos could never, but that doesn't mean Lagos is bad. I love Lagos and it has a lot of advantages, but the view here is just like, wow. I don't know who had to turn on their damn ACs, but catch y'all later. 
Yo, I had to take a picture of my room number in front of my room so I don't forget because I don't know where the f I am. I have no clue. I'm gonna check the gym out downstairs. If it's not nice, I'll try going for a walk. If it's not nice, I'll just go to the gym I used to go to in Abuja. I hope you guys can hear me because the elevator is loud. Like, why is the elevator singing? Oh, oh, oh. I guess I forget my, my scarf. I'm not gonna take it off. I'm taking a run instead. I don't actually know where the f I'm running to, but I just felt like doing something different. I can't do this in Lagos, you know? So, might as well enjoy it here. No sun right now, it's really early. So, I swear sometimes I talk, I feel like I actually sound like newscaster. I know I say it, but I feel it. <laughs> You guys, look at that. It's so fucking beautiful. Like, please. This is what you call views. Like, what? Hey, guys. So, this morning has been so, so good. I went to the gym. Then I went for a run. And it was just so nice. So, I'm off to see my family now. So I just say I don't have friends in Abuja. But my friends are coming through for me. Because I told my friend, like, I'm going to see my family. And he stays around so he just like brought his car and he was like i could drive i'm like ah. <laughs> so y'all know that like i don't drive too much although i like driving but i don't drive too much but let's see how it goes i don't want any stress god i beg so i'm going to wear my glasses yeah because i don't want stress then we're gonna see mama and my brother i don't think you have seen my brother on my channel before he's like big daddy you know one eternity later you guys First of all, I've not eaten this morning. I have been driving for the past like 25 minutes. So Abuja is very annoying. The roads are very like long. When you get on the express, it's not like it's long. Just know it's long before you can make a turn. Like the maps are telling me um you're you're on Abuja Zari, um, Zaria. I'm like, I'm going to Zaria, like are you people playing with me? Like, what am I doing in Zaria? Like the fuck? Brav, brav, brav. I I've driven. I've mini small, mini small for me to reach like Kaduna or something. I've driven because I missed my turn. I was so close to my my family house and then I missed a turn and that's how we just went. Because <sighs> I'm not with my driver's license, so I saw VIO. They were making a turn, so they wanted me to drive forward. So they told me we'll just drive forward, drive forward. So it was the car. I was like, ah. I was like, please don't look at my plate number. Please don't look at me. Please don't stop me and then i just drove past them so yeah we're safe we gucci time to go see my mama it's it's the police how many looks mama Bye. so i successfully drove around abuja today no car scratches thank god yeah abuja is obviously easier to drive the roads are wider it's just like at first when i got on the road going to my um, my family house and then i was on the thingy i was on the express it felt weird because in lagos we don't have expresses like like i always felt very like it's an interlock right but here they have actual expresses express road they just smooth you're going through so at first i was like what the fuck like i was tired of driving but coming back i was like i said playing music i was like i'm getting the hang of this i'm okay, back to my hotel now i haven't eaten all day at all i think i'm gonna do the spa i was actually thinking of doing the spa with my mom but it's probably better i just do it now because my body hurts so i'm probably just gonna do it now then when my mom comes later she will do her own massage because my mom she's if she would stop my own i know she will not let me sleep so let her just do hers and i do mine all right 
No, this is the hotel. That's the gate. That's about it. Guys, I'm going to the spa now. I booked an appointment. I want to sleep so bad, so I just thought I might as well just get a massage while I sleep now. I've been up since 6 a.m., so yeah. <laughs> But they gave me this bridge to wear at the spa <laughs> and I wore it and it caught it literally caught. <laughs> it literally like it didn't even passed my thighs okay girl is thick okay bye okay I'm here you know <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm heading to meet Amy Akoli now. After the spa, I literally passed out. I haven't driven at night for a long time. I think last time I drove at night was with Toby. Yeah, yeah, in Lagos. Um, so y'all come with me as well. I know when I say come with me, I don't end up really vlogging as I'm driving because I like, you know, I don't know where to keep my phone. And I don't like being distracted. Like, I, I don't like being distracted when i'm doing something that needs my full attention because i beg <laughs> so like you know it's one thing that i don't really know that i don't really know the streets you know like i used to so i need to always pay attention so yeah anyway let's go we're going to this place called yarama name but you know is it mitama let's go let's go it's like a 20 minutes drive but let's go <laughs> good morning it's sunday i go here on friday yesterday was so fun like amy is crazy but good crazy because we had an adventure that was unplanned like it was just crazy because um at the first location we got pizza and we ordered like um our main so pizza was meant to be the starter she wanted me to try the pizza which was really good by the way then we took our main to go because like by the time we had the pizza and um, our mocktails and like like gisting like we just got tired bored and like not hungry anymore so we're like you know what what's next so we went to this place called palm ave to get tea because she was like the tea is really nice so and the tea was really nice i think the one that was really nice was a something peach or peach something tea something like that it was really nice the ambience from outside wasn't impressive i'm gonna be honest but inside was really good the lounge the private lounge area we stayed at the vip side apparently you have to pay like 10 grand more for so that's not too bad the toilet wasn't impressive at all the toilet was bad it's a park called river plates park so we had to walk like we were in a section of the park right so we had to walk to go to um to another restaurant that was like in the same park but the park is really big so we walked quite a bit that's the adventure i was talking about but it was funny because amy went to pee and i kind of also went to pee as well so we had to go to the other restaurant they were having an event so we literally like you know had to like kind of beg 
I hate admitting the fact that I begged for anything, but yeah, kind of did that. And they let us into pee. It was chill. We got back, continued our tea, continued just in, played some charades, played some games, and like, yeah, drove back alone in the car. I'm getting the hang of this driving thing. I'm really getting the hang of it. I, I feel like my brother told me yesterday, is like the more you drive, you just get used to it. You get so I'm I'm at this point where I'm getting used to it properly. Hopefully I get my car soon. Ow. Yeah, so I'm at World's Carton, if y'all don't know. So far, honestly, when I came in, I didn't really like the aesthetics of my room. Yeah, but honestly, staying here, like the, the energy of staying here is really nice. Do you get what I mean? Like the room is not like you know more than enough i wouldn't create content here but the vibe is just nice like it, the vibe is private the vibe is the vibe is intimate there's a spa here there's a restaurant there's a bar if anyone wants that there's there are pools i think there are like two indoor pools the workers are so nice the the kitchen is so nice the food here is good so like it's just really nice i feel like it's it's an experience i'm glad i came here I'm glad I stayed here because and then you know the other day I ran so I went out the gate and I ran around like a bit around Asokoro. I didn't go too far but the environment is safe, is is secure, it's calm, there's not too much happening. There's you know in Lagos, imagine you running on the Lagos, one agro would be like, Ah oh, my dog, I just wanna talk to you, you know, like but over here, like I'm greeting people, I'm walking not everybody, but I'm I really like, you know, females, I respect females so much. So I'm I'm greeting like older women i'm seeing on the road like mothers cooking on the road you know all them things and they're so nice like the guys i i work ran past like random guys on the street they're not trying to be funny i mean i'm wearing my headset but they weren't trying to be smart like say something smart you know so i i felt very safe i would give kudos to them for that the environment the vibe of the place it's nice it's very nice if i want to break like i want to break whereby i'm just like fuck it i'm not creating because i'm the i would literally come here and i would rest and i would feel cool like everything is calm i'm not gonna lie everything is really calm i like that i'm gonna change where i'm staying today because they told me that you know that they're booked out so there is no space again because like even to get the this at first they were like oh they are booked out but then luckily they were, they were able to get something but now they're saying that like you know they don't have availability again like literally i think i, I don't know if i told you all like fraser transcorp like like literally the nice hotels that like they're literally all booked so because like i didn't want to here wasn't my first option between us i'm gonna move to another spot apparently it's like an apartment so yeah I'm, I'm i'm calm like from what i saw on, on like their website it looks calm but then obviously i can't trust the websites anymore <laughs> yeah i just i'm so glad i'm so glad that like i feel calm when i came here guys i was crying i had like two anxiety attacks in two days like not even two days in the space of 24 hours actually if i'm right yeah in the space of 24 hours the night of the first day and then by the evening of the second day so in the space of 24 hours i already had to and that's crazy because i never have like i you know i used to before like 2020 but not anymore and like for something to trigger me like that and then i was like feeling like that and it was work <laughs> and so my mom and i were trying to figure out how to open the fuel tank in the car i suppose yeah, but no it's not really here they said i think we just press it in. if i press unlock on the car key okay. if i press unlock on the car key she'll be able to work you worked. Oh, it's true. It worked. That's interesting. Okay, bring the POS. Yes. Thank you. Oh, it works. Oh, my goodness. major cultural shock in Abuja and Lagos. Not cultural shock because I grew up here but what the hell. Um, in Abuja they don't work on Sundays. Like Sundays everywhere is quiet, empty, how it should be. You know and like places don't open, salons don't open. But in Lagos everybody, Sunday, Sunday is another Friday. People are working, people are like a salon will be open, places will be open. People will be on the road, all of that. So yeah. <music> Yo, 
Yo, look at the end result. This place, this is so gross. Like, the eggs were so bad. The avocado was so mushy. The poached egg was the best thing here, honestly. The wheat bread, I don't even know. This bacon, like, what the fuck? The salmon tasted really bad. The lemon doesn't even look good. The cappuccino, yeah, no, bye. Yeah, so this is a two for me. That this sounds mean, but I'm upset because I have to pay for this. So if I have to pay for it, at least I should rate it, honestly. <laughs> Go sis. <laughs> something that's like it has a very stale taste like something tastes like desiccos but it tastes good it's just not fresh does that make sense but it's not bad it's just not great but it's not bad mm -hmm. 